Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared two multiply choice questions for you and as usual I recommend you to stop video here, read the questions, choose the correct answers and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations. And here is the first question. A mutation in which most of the protein coding sequence of the gene is removed is most likely to be which type of the allele? And here is the four answers to choose from. And uh, answer A, lethal, uh, answer B, dominant, answer C, loss and function, and answer D, sex limited. And uh, actually, any of these answers can be correct answer. So, uh, the problem today would be to choose uh, the answer that would be more appropriate than the rest. Those, all of them would be... Uh, possible. For example, answer A, lethal, and uh, of course when uh, we have uh, one allele and most of the alleles present at least in two copies, some of the alleles can be present more than in two copies, some of our genes are duplicated, so uh, we have many locations for some of the genes, but let's consider uh, such situation when we have one locus and only two alleles. So imagine that one allele would be um, with mutation that uh, would make such allele uh, non-functional. So sometimes this can be lethal, but in most of the cases uh, our gene that is functional just would be upregulated and would produce more product, more protein product. And this is normal function of the genes. Sometimes we need some proteins and genes would be upregulated. Sometimes we need only few uh, protein products and a gene would be uh, downregulated. And sometimes we don't need a product, so gene wouldn't produce message RNA and uh, as consequence uh, protein. So uh, in most of the cases, even those we have one fun normally functioning allele, uh, in most cases this would be enough. So those in some cases, uh, even those we would have one normal allele, this wouldn't be enough. So this can be correct answer, but let's consider the other answers. Uh, answer B, dominant. So if we would have one normally functioning gene and also we would have other variant of this gene um, on the other chromosome that we call allele and uh, if that allele would be non-functioning might this uh, affect the phenotype and of course uh, yes sometimes can uh, in our previous example, we just took uh, extreme uh, effect on the uh, phenotype, but in many cases uh, such effect can be just change of the phenotype. So whenever we would have, for example, one uh, allele that would be normally functioning, another one that would be defective, this may change phenotype. So this defective allele maybe have as uh, dominant allele. But uh, also I can say that most of the uh, such mutations would be recessive. So this is possible answer. And I will skip answer C and uh, answer D, sex limited. Uh, such genes we call sex limited that would be expressed only in uh, certain sex, whether female or male we have uh, more than 99.9% genes that would be expressed both in males and females, but some of the genes only would be expressed in females or males. We call such genes sex limited, and such genes usually would be under the uh, influence of the uh, certain hormones that would be expressed only in females or males, but there are very few such genes. Most of the genes would be 
uh, both present and expressed in females and males. So this is not correct answer. There are very few such sex-limited genes, alleles, and if one would be defective, the other normal allele probably would be able to take its function and would be uh, overexpressed and would produce more product. So this is not correct answer. And answer C, loss of function, in most of the cases, if uh, we would delete a substantial sequence of the gene, there would be loss of function. But sometimes only one nucleotide would be enough to delete to disrupt the whole sequence. For example, as you know, um, if, for example, this is gene, and here we can find uh, different bases, for example, adenine, guanine, guanine, uh, adenine, thymine, thymine, uh, all the uh, proteins coded by uh, trinucleotides. So here would be uh, one trinucleotide, here would be another trinucleotide that we call codon, and if we delete three trinucleotides, that means that protein sequence would lose one amino acid. In most of the cases, uh, if uh, protein would lose one amino acid, if it is not in active site, this wouldn't make big difference. But if we, for example, would delete one nucleotide, the whole sequence after this nucleotide would shift by one position, and that means that all the amino acid sequence would change. And this, for 100%, means that this is going to be loss on function. So, as you see, sometimes even small change may lead to uh, disruption of the whole gene, and uh, sometimes when we delete three nucleotides, this wouldn't have effect on the uh, function of the protein. But of course, whenever we have uh, large deletion, so uh, like in our problem, most of the protein coding sequence of the gene removed, so uh, of course this would lead to loss of function. And this we can say for sure. And this is going to be our answer. And next question. The phenomenon uh, where half the normal level of functional protein is not enough to generate a normal phenotype is called Hapla insufficiency. Which of the following situations demonstrate Hapla insufficiency? And here is uh, four answers to choose from. Answer A. Persons with type AB blood display both A and B antigens on their red blood cells, meaning the person who belong to the blood group AB and who has two type of uh, antigens present on the surface of red blood cells. Uh, one would be antigen A and another type would be antigen B. So his blood group would be AB. And this is not correct answer. It has nothing to do with Hapla insufficiency. When we have two copies of one allele and one allele would be non-functional. So we can cross out this answer. And uh, answer B. Heterozygous and homozygous flowers are both purple. This is classical example of uh, Mendelian genetics where we have two alleles. One allele is dominant and code for the red color or purple color. Another one is recessive allele and code for the uh, white color. So parent on the left has uh, white flowers and parent on the top has red flowers and all the progeny going to be heterozygous and 100% of the progeny also going to have red flowers, just like a parent here, who is homozygous dominant. So 
in simple Mendelian genetics, where we have simple dominance, all the heterozygous genotype would produce the same phenotype as homozygous dominant. So this is our answer B, and this is not correct answer. So now we have to choose between answer C and D. And answer D, a mutation in protein, causes it to become much more active than usual. And this answer contradicts to our problem. Once again, the phenomenon where half the normal level of functional protein is not enough to generate a normal phenotype is called Hapler insufficiency. But in answer D, we see not deficiency, but overproduction. So we can cross out this answer also. And the only correct answer would be answer C. Small i in mice is caused by loss of one copy of the Pax6 gene. So this is going to be our answer. And here is a picture that demonstrates this genetic disorder. And uh, as you see here on the picture, this i is normal, so plus plus to normal alleles. Here we have heterozygote, here we also have heterozygote, and here we also have heterozygote. So different uh, mutations in this gene would cause this um, genetic disorder. So as you see, sometimes even one normal functioning allele wouldn't be enough and heterozygous conditions in mice might lead to serious genetic disorders. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.